On the morning of February 19, 2017, the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center issued a slight risk for severe weather for Central Texas. The risk included, but was not limited to, damaging winds and large hail, but large hail being the main threat, though damage, damaging wind threat became more known later on. Isolated tornadoes was also a threat for that day. Later on, a cluster of thunderstorms developed around Central Texas. In the marginal risk area, not much happened, but not much happened in the slight risk area either. However, in the Norman, Oklahoma area, a squall line re-intensified as it moved north. This created the ideal conditions for a nice lightning show.
As the storms moved through, they weakened substantially, and the severe thunderstorm warning expired. However, Mother Nature had one last trick up her sleeve. Up we This light outside just went out. Ma. Ma. This light out here just went out. I think we had a brown out. This light outside is out. Yep, wow. There's a real lightning show going on outside right now. Jeez. Come back on, I'm not sure. That one's dead. Either it died or the power locked it out. That didn't make sense. The power got locked out of it, I think that's better. Be quiet, Alexa! Yeah, it's brown out. You can call Grandpa back. This pot wasn't in the way. I'd probably get a better shot. But eh, it's good enough. There's some landings over here anyway. Run out. That light is fully on now. This is a brief brown out. It happened so fast, I didn't even realize it. And this light's not coming back on, it looks like. Uh, something I really like. Oklahoma. These lightning shows, and I'm gonna shut up now so you can enjoy it.
Yep, there it goes. Let's come back on now. Nope, it just went on again. It's like it's gonna do it to a weird malfunction. Something I also saw in my own neighborhood. Something I saw on Free Brick Productions. Yeah.
As for how the rest of the evening went, the National Weather Service in Norman issued one last severe thunderstorm warning for the northern part of the squall line for 60 mile per hour wind gusts. A significant weather advisory was also issued for the rest of the squall line for 50 mile per hour wind gusts and torrential rainfall. Before the squall line weakened for good. In central Texas, a portion of the squall line actually briefly re-intensified, producing a string of wind damage, hail damage, and even a few tornadoes, including two EF2s that simul simultaneously hit the town of Sorrell, one of which derailed a train. Next time on Chester, the video was supposed to be about the silent flyer, but instead everything is late on this line. Amtrak's running late. I realize too late that I'm about to delete the video. I am too late to cross the track before a BNSF train comes through. I'm almost too late to cross the street. And I'm almost too late to get my car access ride. Thanks for watching.